So we're going to have uh, in uh, five minutes presentations some beautiful experience from very active ministers. We have the chance to have, uh, we're going to start with the minister. This is Lava Dimitrova, please, uh, could you come here? She's uh, currently Deputy Minister of Health of the Republic of Bulgaria and responsible for health financing, including U.S. found investment and public health. So we'll be pleased to have you here, and please welcome to the Global Obesity Forum. Okay, great. Thank you to EPOT for the kind invitation to be here today and to share with you the experience of Bulgaria. It's a great honor to be uh, in front of such a distinguished audience. So today I will share uh, three main topics about uh, Bulgaria. First, I'll share a little bit about the current situation because that is uh, so the situation in most of Eastern Europe and some of Western Europe and might be relevant to other countries. Then I'll share some about uh, some of the challenges that uh, we face on uh, federal government level and then um, the solution that we have come up, an integrated approach. So the current situation, um, just as in other uh, countries uh, in the world and in Europe, uh, obesity and overweight rates are increasing. Only in the past 14 years, we've had 5 to 15 percent increase. And I'll show a little bit of the data how that breaks up uh, by age group, but it's mostly driven by child uh, obesity rates. Um, the government has done a lot of interventions to try to address this. Uh, we've developed a national plan, uh, a national nutrition action plan that, uh, that uh, lists out all the various uh, activities that the government uh, would do on, a, on, um, on national level. And those are activities, not so much uh, tax subsidies, just things that are within the realm of uh, control of the Ministry of Health. Um, we also have a national food-based dietary guidelines with our, which are optional for kindergartens uh, and uh, schools. And we also have an or ordinance for health and nutrition at school and kindergarten that's uh, obligatory. Um, within that, uh, those ordinances, there are also weekly menus for school catering and canteens. That's a little bit of a legacy from communism where everything was very leg regulated, but we still uh, have those. And uh, we're proud to share that um, about a, a few weeks ago, we also passed uh, um, um, in, the, in the law on health, a legislation that um, energy drinks cannot be sold uh, in proximity, not only on school campuses, but in proximity to schools. We tried actually uh, to go for sugar as well, but that didn't come by the energy drinks were uh, a compromise that uh, we came up with. Um, we're also in the beginning stages of um, uh, engaging with, uh, uh, with the industry. Um, we're very much in the beginning stages. We're much more uh, advanced in uh, engagement with NGOs, medical associations. Uh, we just haven't had a history of, um, of uh, much public-private uh, partnership. So we're looking for opportunities to figure out how to, to do that. And then we have a lot of uh, EU finance projects as one of the um, la uh, the latest uh, accession country. Um, we have quite a bit of funding on uh, public health, and uh, some, but it's mostly on um, on awareness, not so much funding on research. So I'll go into each one of these points um, very briefly. So this is. Um, uh, the current situation in terms of overweight and obesity prevalence among children. And we see that actually it's uh, mostly driven by females six uh, to nine. And I'll be very interested in the research that uh, uh, Pro Professor Dronovsky shared to see how, whether that's something that we could replicate in Bulgaria as well and uh, see what are the linkages to income and uh, access to, um, uh, to, fo uh, to food, et cetera. And then um, the prevalence among adults is mostly driven by um, males 30 to 60 years old. So then a little bit uh, more on the additional interventions that we've, gain, uh, we've engaged in. We've um, created uh, an agreement with uh, the milk producers, but it's mostly in terms of training. There's nothing uh, in terms of taxes or other incentives uh, to be developed agreement uh, between scientists and municipalities. 
uh, but that's uh, again for um, kindergartens are owned by municipalities. So in order for the Ministry of Health to regulate the recipes and the nutrition at kindergartens, that needs to be done through the through agreements with the municipalities, and that's pretty much uh, where our only. Um, um, uh, work in collaboration with municipalities uh, was I was very interested to hear what uh, Washington DC is doing and I was curious to see how much interaction there is between Washington DC and the federal government uh, and um, to, to learn from the experience of municipality versus uh, national uh, national government and then there is uh, of course uh, we're very grateful for very good collaboration with the Bulgarian Association for the study of obesity and related diseases uh, who have uh, been leaders in um, uh, illustrating what type of research can be done so that we can have evidence-based uh, policies. There have been some roundtables, etc. I won't go too much into that. Um, the challenges. The challenges are many. Um, on a political level, um, I haven't listed this one uh, here, but uh, public health is something that uh, we reap the benefits uh, of uh, much further away than the time of uh, our political um, political mandate. Uh, so investment in public health is uh, not so visible um, in the short run. Um, in terms of, um, of this particular topic, uh, one of our biggest challenges is that there are way too many players and everybody is working on their own. There is the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Agriculture, the National Center of Public Health, the National Center of uh, um, uh, of food and nutrition that we recently started. So everybody is working uh, on their own. They have a program that addresses physical activity. The, that's the Ministry of, uh, of, um, of Sports. We have uh, programs that are for nutrition. Uh, the Ministry of Agriculture has other programs for nutrition that are um, animal-based, etc. And uh, we, we, up to um, uh, a little bit ago, we didn't have much uh, coordination. Um, also, there are a lot of piecemeal solutions being a developing country still. Uh, there are a lot of bilateral donors who are interested in implementing certain programs, um, maybe not necessarily aligned with what um, we were doing. Um, then there are EU projects, there are uh, national program projects, so a lot of interventions and no one really to coordinate them. Um, also, a lot, quite a bit of top-down um, and not so much uh, municipal or grassroots NGO-driven. And uh, as a result, we saw limited results. Uh, we saw that um, in the past, uh, as you saw, in the past 12 years, there were up to 15% increase in obesity. Um, so this is what uh, we have been doing for the past year and a half. Um, we are proud to say that we have now completed uh, the development of this national program. So basically we recognize that um, since the risk factors for um, all non-communicable diseases are, uh, are uh, the same, uh, we decided to, to develop an integrated program for non-communicable diseases and, uh, and include all relevant ministries, municipalities, NGOs in it and set the frame for what are the interventions that um, on a national level would be done and then give that as a template and an opportunity for all players, both EU, um, uh, bilateral, NGOs, industry to fit into the template and the framework that we as a, as a government uh, would set. Um, I know that probably at an obesity conference one would have thought that we would do an uh, obesity specific program, but uh, we look at obesity really as, a, as, a, as an aspect of the whole health system and unless we address uh, the entire health system, we don't think that uh, we would be um, uh, so successful. So we've been working with the World Health Organization with their division on non-communicable diseases to develop this uh, approach of uh, sort of having the four risk factor, uh, factors, alcohol abuse, tobacco use, unhealthy diet, and low physical activity, and the four disease factors, cancer, diabetes, um, cardiovascular diseases, and pulmonary diseases. So we've developed it. Uh, initially, it was mostly developed by experts. We uh, wanted the NGOs to be included. Uh, however, we wanted uh, them to be included at a stage once uh, that is developed. It was. Uh, a very big struggle because everybody believed that uh, their particular NCD disease deserves its own program or their particular risk factor deserves its own, uh, 
its own program, but it really was more as we as we advanced, we realized it's more about the budget and the power that one wanted to have uh, with that particular um, approach. So we designed a national coordinating committee, which would which uh, manages the entire uh, program, and um, and that's how uh, we have addressed. Uh, this. So with that, I will uh, conclude, and then I'm open to questions. Before I get off the stage, though, I want to make um, a big plug for the 21st European Congress on Obesity, which will be in Sofia next year from the 20th to the 31st of May, and we'd like to invite you all to it. Thank you.